Welcome to today's tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to look at forms and types of cryptocurrencies. do some small revision what is a blockchain it is a growing list of records called blocks that are linked using cryptography each block contains a cryptographic hash of the previous block a timestamp and transaction there are basically two types of blockchain we have centralized blockchain and decentralized cryptography is the process of converting ordinary plain tests into into unintelligible tests and vice versa it's a method of storing and transmitting data in a particular form so that only those for whom it is intended can read and process it. now what is cryptocurrency a cryptocurrency is a digital asset designed to work as a medium of action wherein individual coin ownership records are stored in a ledger existing in the form of computerized database using strong photography. Now, cryptocurrency as a broad subject is divided into two main forms. We have user-based cryptocurrencies and the market-based cryptocurrencies. In cryptocurrency, a currency being anthropic means that the currency doesn't depend on the buying and selling at the market level, but depends on the increment of people trading the currency. So an example of user-based cryptocurrency is TBC, the billion coin. And their rule says that the number of people that have registered with the company is equal to the price of one coin so let's say if three million people sign up with the tbc company then the price of one tbc is three million dollars it doesn't depend on the market whether people are buying more of it or selling more of it and then we have the market based the market based are the bitcoin ethereum a litecoin bitcoin cash finance coin and all that okay those are the market based cryptocurrencies they derive their value based on the market activities so from supply and demand as we learned it also apply to market based so Bitcoin and all that they are the market-based cryptocurrencies. So our focus is on market-based cryptocurrencies. And the market-based cryptocurrencies, we have two forms. We have stable market-based cryptocurrencies and non-stable market-based cryptocurrencies. Stable market-based cryptocurrencies are cryptocurrencies that have their value pegged to one dollar. They do not rise and fall in value. Their value is constant. They are called stable currencies. Example is USDT. We have USDT. USD coin, we have the Binance USD, and their purpose in the market is to stable the assets of traders. Since the cryptocurrency market is not that stable, Bitcoin is always dropping and rising, Ethereum is always dropping and rising. People will need a place to stable their assets so that when their money is there, it doesn't drop, they have the amount they place there. The unstable market based cryptocurrencies derive their value from demand and supply ratio, and then it is these currencies that traders investing for gains like bitcoin ethereum bitcoin cash binance coin chain link xrp ethereum etc those are the unstable ones so we have looked at the forms of cryptocurrencies now we need to look at types of cryptocurrencies and they are under stable and unstable so they apply to both for the types we have coins and tokens coins are cryptocurrencies that have their own blockchain and tokens are cryptocurrencies that uses other coins blockchain so an example of coins are bitcoin tron ethereum and binance and then example of tokens are digital futures free coin mika yen finance etc and under coins we also have forms we have mineable coins and non-mineable coins mineable coins are cryptocurrency coins that can be obtained through the process of mining and non-mineable coins are cryptocurrency coins that cannot be obtained through the process of mining under the cryptocurrency forms we have types we have medium of exchange coins we have storage coins and we have derivative coins and it applies to both mineable and non-mineable so under both of them we have these three types of coins yes yeah, so as i said under forms of cryptocurrencies we have types of cryptocurrencies and then in types of cryptocurrencies we said they are in two folds we have coins and tokens so now let's talk about tokens we said tokens are cryptocurrencies that uses other cryptocurrencies blockchain via smart contract and the tokens we have forms we have fungible tokens and non-fungible
fungible tokens. Fungible tokens are tokens that are exchangeable. When I say exchangeable, one Ethereum, if one Ethereum is $300, everywhere you go in the world, one Ethereum will be sold for you at $300. If one Bitcoin is $19,000, everywhere you go in this world, it will be sold and bought at $19,000. But non fungible tokens are tokens that are not easily exchangeable. Okay, so one piece of art can be worth a thousand dollars here, but when you go somewhere in the world, it can be worth hundred thousand dollars, depending on what the person is using that token for. So the person can use that token and increase its value such that even if you are selling one at ten thousand, he will be selling his at fifty thousand. And an example of a non fungible token is crypto kiddies. And the fungible and non fungible tokens we have types. We have fixed supply tokens and the mintable supply tokens. So they apply to both fungible and non-fungible. Under the fixed supply fungible tokens, we have types. We have derivative fixed supply fungible token, DeFi fixed supply fungible token, and storage fixed supply fungible tokens. And under the mintable supply fungible tokens, we have types. We have derivative mintable supply fungible tokens, DeFi mintable supply fungible tokens, and storage mintable supply fun fungible tokens and now let's look at fixed supply non-fungible tokens and the fixed supply non-fungible tokens we have d5 fixed supply non-fungible token store of value fixed supply non-fungible token now let's look at mintable supply non-fungible tokens we have d5 mintable supply non-fungible tokens and then store of value mintable non-fungible tokens those are the ones you are seeing in pink and light green and they apply to both stable and unstable cryptocurrencies so it's actually a family it's a crypto family and then they all have divisions they have uh, categories they all fall and then you need to know that as a trader to guide your trades